If you could have dinner alone with anyone living or deceased, who would it be and why? It can be a buffet, sit down dinner, you know, it can be whatever you want. No wrong answer. No wrong answer about that. It can be historical, it can be family, it can be whatever. You know, there's so many people. Let me just say a generic name. Um, I would love to sit down with someone who was enslaved mm. because I would want to ask them, how do you get through the day? Mm -hmm. What are your coping mechanisms? What do you dream of? Mm -hmm. What do you tell your children? What do you tell yourself? What do you want to tell to that individual who's enslaved you, who doesn't know something about you? Mm -hmm. And I say that because here I am, and I don't know the exact lineage, but I obviously am the son of slaves. And okay. somehow my forebears persevered through what has been, had got to be one of the worst situations we could subject any human being to. And yet here I am. So clearly there is a strength of character that was passed on that these people have. I want to know it. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I want to know how can I have it. I'd love to be a fly on the wall to watch that one or listen to it. And by the way, I'd want it to be a sit-down meal because I ain't getting up. I don't want to waste any time for a buffet, man. <laughs> so, so would there be libation or would it be just like iced tea or what kind of, what kind of gathering in that regard? Kurt, we're in Kentucky. Therefore, there has to be bourbon. Not much, just a bit just of enough. double oak Woodford Reserve bourbon. I like it. I like it. You heard it here first, folks.